Hey guys, it's Pebbles. Thanks for watching Pebbles Eats Plants. I am here today with a summer update video. I haven't posted a video in a while and I have four things to talk about. Thing one is that it's a lot easier to be motivated to film and edit videos when it's cold and rainy outside. Uh, Portland finally got summer and got sunshine and I have been having a hard time doing anything indoors that doesn't involve cooking and eating. So um, I don't know, maybe I'll do some uh, live videos of those things that I'm doing anyways. But um, uh, lots of respect to YouTubers that are really disciplined and putting videos up regularly because it does take time and it takes motivation. And I have been um, doing a really good job at enjoying life, but maybe not as good of a job at um, doing YouTube. So I apologize sort of, but I've been having a good time. So um, speaking of having a good time, that brings me to item number two, which is how excited I am. Um, very exciting. On Friday, July 28th at 6.30 p.m. in Hillsboro, Oregon, I am teaching my first ever cooking class. So really excited. Um, I have taught many classes in dog training um, and teaching people about, about dog training and training. Um, I've also taught high school English and writing and some other things, but uh, cooking class is brand new for me. I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little bit afraid that nobody's going to sign up. Um, and then I'm kind of afraid that it'll be a full class and then I have a, a bigger audience there, but I'm really excited. I hope it's just the beginning of new adventures for me. If you're in the Hillsboro area, check it out or suggest it to somebody. I'll put the information in the description box. And that, oh, I'm doing plant-based barbecue favorites. So we're gonna do carrot dogs, uh, deviled potatoes, and spring rolls. So things that are summer rolls. So things that can be a little bit intimidating, seeming or weird to people, but if you take it to a potluck, they're gonna disappear. So those are my things that we're making for that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do a post or a video on how the class ended up going. But um, brings me to thing number three. And thing number three is a little bit harder. Um, one of the reasons that I have not made a video recently is because I, um, I had it in my head that after my um, weight loss goal and my birthday and going to Vegas, then I'd make a video about all of the vegan food in Vegas and then kind of talk about how things were going as far as maintaining and um, the truth is things haven't been going all that great in that area and I um, I think that kind of stopped me from wanting to make a video to kind of be real and be honest about the challenges that I've had and the fact is I after eating super carefully and super healthfully and eating delicious things and enjoying it. Let me point that out too. And losing a total of 92 pounds. Um, I went to Vegas for my birthday and for five days I ate and drank whatever I felt like. Um, and so that had some not so healthy things. It wasn't even that terrible of things. I didn't eat any fried chips. Um, had not fried tortillas to go with my salsa and guacamole and did have some pretty indulgent things like Cineholic, oh my god, but um, when I got back, uh, I, my weight was up eight pounds, which just really upset me and didn't seem fair and I kind of thought, oh, maybe it's just water weight or, you know, water retention or whatever because I had drinks and it was hot and extra salty food at restaurants and whatever, but um, yeah, no, it has not disappeared quite as um, quickly and easily as I had hoped, and that's been a little bit discouraging, and feeling discouraged about myself makes it surprisingly that much harder to make the right choices, which is a weird paradox, and I think it's a really common thing that people feel where you, 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 you feel like a failure and so then you don't choose the right things um i'm i'm sure dr lyle has a video about this um but i can't quite 
I can't, I was looking for it and I can't quite find it. So if anybody knows what I'm talking about, um, let me know in the comments. But basically, uh, um, I've been trying to figure things out. So um, had that, that was a big shock to me. I've been eating mostly healthy since then. And then I just had another vacation this weekend, which I planned much better for and felt, felt good about that. But I still didn't make the best choices um, as far as health wise. I had a blast. It was so fun. It was a beautiful wedding for a couple of my friends in stunning location in California. I had a great time with all the friends I went with, but I basically ate um, crackers and vegan gummies and Prosecco for four days. So that um, means that I am still, after a little over a month, um, I'm still about six pounds over my goal weight that I got to for my birthday that was so exciting. And that's, it's really disheartening. Um, so now I'm kind of um, getting back to eating a weight loss diet and really kind of examining um, examining my path going forward and what choices I want to make and what everything looks like to me. And so expect to see some more videos around um, weight maintenance and what that looks like and how to kind of figure out how that works for each person because that's what I'm going to be doing for probably uh, the next couple years um, or at least the next few months but probably more likely the next couple years. It took me two and a half years to lose the weight that I needed to. And so um, I guess it's reasonable to assume that it might take me that same amount of time to figure out how to keep it off. And we know that the keeping it off part is the challenge. That's the really tricky part. Um, you know, you, I've lost weight before. Maybe you have too, but um, I haven't kept it off before. And so that is this is a critical piece and I, I don't know yet what, what that looks like for me, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm figuring it out. Um, I'm acting as sort of a, a scientist experimenting on myself. So there'll, there'll, there'll be some ups, there'll be some downs, but I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely figure it out eventually. So that's that news. Um, and then on a more positive note, another fun thing that is an update for summer is I actually a few weeks ago got a stand-up paddle board, which I'm very excited about. I've had a couple of friends get them. Um, my brother actually owns a paddle board and kayak rental shop on Kauai called Nani Kai Adventures. So if you go to Kauai, go see my brother Scotty there and rent one of his um, paddle boards. But um, I got my own and uh, I had to, hadn't tried it before, we took it out to the lake, and it was so much fun. I paddled around. I was scared that I was going to be terrible at it, but I actually did great and really enjoyed it, and I've been out um, pretty much every weekend since then. So that is a great way for me to be really successful. One of my goals for post-weight loss has been to find ways to kind of enjoy exercise. Um, I know I said I, I didn't exercise on purpose at all while I was losing weight, but that was a goal for after weight loss. And so the paddle boarding has been an awesome way to do things that's good for my body, but it feels fun and I enjoy it and I want to do it. Um, same thing, I've been getting up and going for walks in the morning and really liking that. And then for um, I'm on about month three of um, a hula class once a week that I like. Not, not hula hoop, but actual um, Hawaiian hula class and it's so fun and um, I've only been a few times so I'm terrible at it but I enjoy it I always enjoy going sometimes I get a little bit nervous before I go and think oh god I'm bad at it I can't everyone else is better and but I go and I'm, I'm never sorry that I went so that's been really exciting having some exercise that I enjoy and I'm just really loving having it be summer so I'm gonna keep making videos I hope you keep watching. If you have any suggestions for things you want to see or any special requests, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.